Welcome back everyone to Anno 1800 playthrough. So uh, we recently set the wild boar on a on a massive adventure to the new world. It'll take a while to get there but you know we're gonna have to deal with certain situations that that pop up but while we were watching that sail away into the distance my my frigate finished. So we've got a brand new frigate called the wild uh, we've got the wild boar, the wild pigeon, and now the wild hedgehog. Sure, why not? And to commemorate this first journey to the sea, we're going to explode a couple of whales out here. Okay, there you go. Mm. Whoa! Yes! <laughs> Bouncy whales too. Um, but that's a good commemoration, there you go. You can do that just by clicking the mouse button loads. It works on land and sea. Um, hopefully they will eventually disappear, but bouncy whales, bit of fun. We now have a new ship. A new ship to do any errands in case we want to do any errands. Now, in general, I'm not too fussed about it now, to be honest. Um, as for a quest, for no. I'd like to try and maybe be friends with her, at least for now. How about a favor for Whoa, that's a lot of money, man. Got to do what escort to quest. So, approach the ship down here, and I need to escort it. So, give it a shot. We do want to build other ships, because we want a bit of an army, I think. Uh, so, I think another frigate would be nice. Okay, so what exactly are we doing on our islands? Um, let's see. I believe we've just done artisans, so we're looking for canned food, maybe? I think all of this is kind of done. Let's just check that everyone's happy. So these guys have got everything they want. Did I? I need to. Do I need to build more schnapps? Uh, is this schnapps? Okay, so I built this, but I didn't actually put any snaps there. So I did. I think in theory we should have tons and tons of potatoes. Yeah. So that's probably a reason why we didn't um, have enough snaps because I forgot to actually build this. I suppose. Okay, hopefully that'll sort that out. And for artisans, an aviary is fine when it looks not over forest. Okay, uh, they want canned food, and we get seven coins for that if we want to. There's, we could upgrade a few more people as well because we don't really need it. Um, yeah, so let's do that. Let's get a bit more money by upgrading a couple of these. We finish off that block of posh people. Actually, cost girders to upgrade these guys, which is pretty interesting. Uh, visitor have no public mooring to use in the Queen's Landing. Public mooring. Was that like variety theatre? Hmm. Provides a service. We need we need glass to build all this. We need glass. So, do you need glass for any of this stuff? You do. So the glass works is going to be the main thing. Although we can get the red peppers working on our second island first. Uh, so let's find an area for our, for our red peppers in Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen, Queen's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen is actually a thing, isn't it? <laughs> uh, that's probably why I said it. Right. Uh, let's just have a quick look. So do that. Now, one thing is slightly I wish it would do would be to copy the actual farmland from it too. But I guess if you want to do it differently, then it might be... Something so. Um, okay, so two, one, two. There. Hmm. Just move this. One, two, there. And then another one goes there, and delete that one. So in theory, this will work over here like this. And it goes up like that. But I do want that sort of switch, so we'll worry about that in a second. But I just want to make sure we've got enough room here to expand this. I'm pretty sure we do. Just about enough room. Like that. Which is excellent. Um, in fact, I don't have one more space. So we do need a road between them. So I think I'll just move them at one. Oh, apparently I'm going to have to move up three. 
just so I can get a road between them like this. To prepare for more. So that's going to be definitely that area there. Um, we are going to stick the red peppers. This is really starting to look like a kitchen now. I love it. Uh, do we want to do it here? Probably not, right? Up here seems great. Bit of extra work, but nothing I can't handle. We've got plenty of wood. Uh, so it goes over there. And then we'll worry about that later. So, let's see what a red pepper actually takes. 108. So that is 12 times 9. So I think I've done it 12 times 9 before. I think it was... Toot toot. Time to leave. Toot toot. Not time to leave. Be gone. Thought. Right. So that's not quite right. Maybe it's 6. I want it nice and square. Yeah, that seems about right. It's a high square. But uh, we can maybe turn it sideways if you want to. So, um, let's, let's turn it like this, I think. Just like that. Yeah, that looks great. In one of your factories. What? An explosion. Do I have a fire station anywhere near? Don't think I do. Let's build one over here. Wow, so some things can actually just explode. The distillery exploded. Um, you can't cheat it by moving it or deleting it or rebuilding it. The horse is still working though, which is pretty nice. Okay, so when they put out the fires in the potato farms. Now, in theory, this is just cooking the potatoes. Um, it's not actually doing anything else. <laughs> we're just cooking the potatoes, pre-cooking them. It's going to be, we're going to sell them for double the price if we pre-cook them. Um, what's actually in here? Just fire. Whoa! Whoa, man. I didn't do it. Ceasefire has ended. Okay, so they're working on that. We're going to have to, so when they've, when they've put that out, we'll rebuild this. But I think the snaps should be working pretty well now, right? Snaps is at the top. Four. It is going up, so that's good. Okay, let's speed things up just as a tad. Way a second frigate. There we go. Like the damage wasn't even done. Left ruins behind. Good. Well, not good that it left ruins, but good it's finished. So if I do this over here, like this. We can build some more red peppers. They take two minutes. Two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Uh, that takes 15 seconds, and that takes one minute 30. So they take a long time to do this. Uh, but you don't probably don't need as many, because everything else takes a long time too. But it does mean that... Yeah, we'll just like that. There you go. It means we will need a lot of these, I think. So... Um... It's not super helpful for this, but we'll do that there. Untold perils oh, an expedition. This is quite an interesting aspect, so we'll, we'll talk to that seaman in a moment. Uh, just let me just let me work on this. Uh, one, two, all right, good. So we can do three there, three there like that, and then just delete those two for the the correct space. This goes down like that. Beautiful. And I like it how they're all sort of connecting in one big farm. We'll do a uh we'll do probably another one of these in the middle, I would say. Like this. And that'll make it look quite nice. Just go around like this. And then some more. Because I, I do want a lot of these. I think it's quite a vital section. So. Like that. Um, I think it's six. Three. Six. Perfect. Now there's potentially a little bit of wasted space. I've seen people. Um, I've seen other tradesmen do like weird nice cool spirals so there's like no wasted space whatsoever 
Um, but I, I prefer to do this, I think. Uh, I think we'll just build that as is. Uh, we've got enough people, I think. So, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. Maybe we can upgrade that, but we need, we need bricks. There are no actual things on this island. But that should be, that should be good, right? That's uh, six. Six uh, farms here. I want to just walk amongst my... Oh, that looks beautiful. Red peppers. Good, ha uh, good harvest already, actually. Uh, we just planted them. We've got these guys, or possibly women. Um, <laughs> possibly. I don't know. Let's not judge them. Um, inspecting. Spreading seeds. Inspecting the goods. Good ones go in the back. Actually, she's pocketing those things. It's a bit weird. Uh, but he's he's tilling the soil. And then we have to hang them on the edge of the house for what reason? This guy's smelling them, making sure they're of good stock. Of course, only the best for my, my uh, queen's kitchen soup. But the most important thing, how is the wild boar doing? Let's find out. An expedition has, has needs my attention. The mark of dread upon the ghost ship. After weeks of hot weather, supplies of drinking water have become dangerously low. It therefore seems a minor miracle when a fellow ship appears on the horizon, for surely they have water to share. Not necessarily. But as it draws near, the crew are aghast, for there is no sign of life aboard. It is a ghost ship! We must flee before it's too late, they cry. Um, Superstition. We need, just need faith. And the bread will give us faith. Uh, what's this? The body of Christ. Um, sure. Plus 5% chance success. I don't know what the success chance it is. Let's go. The Gru are so faithless that every creaking plank aboard the ghostly ship raises a whimper. So when a banshee howl erupts from below deck, every sailor runs for their life. One poor soul trips in a coil of rigging and cracks their head upon the iron cap stain. The death exposes all the more the crew's foolishness. We lost a bit of morale there. Uh, what do we want to do? Continue at the loss of morale? Or feed the crew extra rations? For keeping good spirits, but lose a tiny bit of morale. So, we're still trying to head for this new world. We're just exploring, and we found a ghost ship. And obviously, I made the wrong choice. Uh, I don't think bread is too religious. <laughs> which is probably one of the reasons why we failed there. But... Uh, yeah. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with this bell bell thing. I might build one more. It seems like we can afford one more. Uh, well, two more, I mean. One more set. Like this. And then we'll have a really good bell thing. Because it takes two minutes. So if we have eight, then that's basically one every 30 seconds. If my math is correct. Please let my math be correct. Eight, uh, two minutes. 31 minute. 31 minute. What every 15 seconds? Right. Someone else can work that out. I'm busy. Right. That's good. Queen's Kitchen. A nice healthy stew. We've got potatoes. We've got hops. We've got red peppers. Um, it's all good. What's this? Full output no on the wool. Everyone happy over here? No snaps over here. Oh, there is snaps over here, actually. Everyone's happy. We don't need anything else. Right, good. Let's look at... Uh, we've got Pretty another thing here. Class. Well, the Puff Addison... Please use more appropriate language. <laughs> the, ga <laughs> the game's moaning at me because of the word Puff. which That's not even how you spell that word, is it? <laughs> what what's it gonna do is it i mean what is the game gonna do i mean what can you put there right obscenities incoming oh it just it just got rid of it white white man this was uh this was a battlefield joke i remember that's fine all right well this is the the wild adder of course um, but yeah, the game's threatening me. <laughs> lovely, lovely. I'm the queen. So, um, what do we need for this? We need more artisans if we want to unlock the clipper and the ship of the line. Uh, another frigate. 
It's fine. It's relatively low upkeep. Oh, that costs a lot. 215. Are you crazy? That costs probably quite a bit then. Oh, so there is a bit of a standing army style thing on this. How are we doing on this town? It looks like we're doing okay. How's everyone feeling? Everyone's feeling good. They want a variety theatre and canned goods. So I think variety theatre, we need, we need windows. So windows, and it's not the operating system, requires sand mine, uh, quartz sand. So I believe this is the only place with actual sand. So um, I think we've got enough room over here. We'll, we'll just sort of make sure we've got enough... Hmm. We'll, we'll keep the fishery near the people, near the pigs, and we'll do the sand mine over here, I think. Right, what's the ratio? 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Wood is not an issue. One minute. So we need two windows for every one of those. Uh, so... Like, do we need more than that? Really? It's very tempting to just build loads of them. Because, you know, I've got a lot of free coast. But uh, it's not really necessary. How's our... We probably do need to think about some defenses over here. What kind of defense can we have got? Does solid damage to enemies long range. With good all-around defense, the cannon tower. Attacks and slows enemies over a medium range. More accurate or close. Um, okay. Protect the fisheries. That's what's most important. There we go. So we're going to train some fearsome fusiliers. Fusiliers. Um... We just we do want to protect that, I think. It's quite important. It's not the best defense, but look at all this. This is uh, the Barnacle from Beryl. She's got a massive army. She's got a huge army. Let's have a look. Yeah, look at that. 47. She could probably go around killing everyone. If she wanted to. I think I think we're in a good box. Anyway. All of this stuff, like the ships and and the stuff is just it's gonna be upkeep, which is dangerous. Um, another expedition requires our attention. Let's go. Oof, scurvy. Parasitic infestation. These parasites must have come from the marsh goo. All that waist high wading. Now they nestle deep in your crew. Who, at the risk of harm from their own madcap cures, really need professional help. I feel it reflects the times. Right, he's no. So we can treat the afflicted with soap. Might be quite might might be quite good. I don't think it's going to get rid of an infestation, but 15% more, you know, extra plus 15%. Oh, we've actually got a festival. That's the first festival as well. Okay, let's do it. The doctors disagree. Madam, bloodletting gives our patients only a 50-50 chance, says one. Sir, tinctures are seldom beneficial or effective on parasites, says the other. Try the latest tincture. Risk bloodletting patients. I don't see how bloodletting works. Um, we are in those times. I'm not entirely sure when bloodletting was massively successful. I think that's probably more useful. It's the same. In theory, it's the same. But I think, personally, I would rather go for a tincture of, like, vial of something over bloodletting. The unpleasant medicine doesn't help. Constant trips to the privy are now the only release for the bug-ridden crew. The doctor admits to the failure of the tincture, but thankfully has some has something for diarrhea. Okay, so we didn't lose a lot of morale there. In fact, we might have even gained some. I'm not sure. Extra rations, we still lose a lot of morale. So the morale on my ship is not too high at the minute. Let's see what the newspaper says. Idiot is back. Happiness oh, and light. I, 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 um, I thought you were the photographer. People are pretty good. City left to burn. That is absolute slander. Absolute slander. That is not true in any sense of the word. I disagree with that. How dare you? It can only do them good. How dare you? Anything else? I did not leave it to burn. Just took a little bit of time, that's all. So what's this? We've got too much snap storage full, really? 
Amazing. On my second island, we've got more schnapps than we can handle. So we'll sell some of it then. See if anyone wants to sell some schnapps. Uh, my, my main island, how's that doing with schnapps? Um, what kind of town don't have a warehouse? Yeah, I forgot about that. Um... Oh, they're getting... It's good now. Right, so let's back onto the glass. So, we've got one of those. We need a glass maker. Um, now, in theory, this can just take it to the... Take it to there, I think. We'll move this over here. So, that takes it to there. Because I don't really want to put the glass thing here. Because I think that's quite a big... Um... It's a bit of a big uh, battery, I think. So it might want to go over here. I think we'll be okay Just with that. Disrupted. Oh, not over here. Sorry, over here. I think. We'll, we'll bring it over here like this. Glass makers. And we'll just see how it sort of pollutes or not. Um, it doesn't actually. It looks like it's fine. There's nothing to write home about. Glass Incorporated. Hmm. Not sure. Oh yeah, we've got a beer festival. So this will last 30 minutes. The, the my city is beautiful for a period of time. I think we've seen everything there is to see. And uh, provides happiness. Residents are provided with schnapps, beer, rum, and champagne. For a long period of time, extra productivity and less workforce needed. So, this is giving me a massive boon that when it ends, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna be in the shit because I'm just gonna realise that I need a lot of stuff. So, in theory, let's have a look how much ash we've got. One. How much ash does this need? Just a little bit. So it's working. We can put it over there if we want. The glass is. It's not like we need to. I'm, I'm, maybe this needs uh, stuff. This definitely needs artisans. There we go. And I think we've got enough wood. Yeah, we've got plenty of wood. So. Let's sell some wood. Beautiful. I mean, these are not making it horrible to look at, are they? So I mean, we could put them over there, but there's not much room. I wonder how annoyed I'm going to be. That's basically all I care about. How annoyed am I going to be that that the uh, the quartz sand mine is over here? Well, I could easily fit that glass thing over here. Couldn't I? Maritime resource turns into quartz sand. But I think, generally speaking, I'm happy with this. Uh, this is still industry. It looks very industrious. Um, so I'll keep my industry over here. And just sort of keep it going. I'm happy with that. Now this takes, like I said, that takes one minute. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. So, about you. good. I think that's fine. We've got sand, turns it into glass, turns it into windows. Good. A little bit of brick will help speed up the, the picking up and dropping off of glass. Excellent, I'm happy with that. Um, not sure what else to do there. We'll get glass over time. This is going to be uh, the windows anyway. We could probably spare some bricks and some girders. Stations. Over in the other place. Can we like... We've got a... I guess that's a little bit of an annoyance. I have to go all the way around my island if I want to pick up some gear. We careen. I'm not entirely sure we can build a second. Oh, another thing already. Wow. We've got a public mooring. Enables visitors to make stopover on my island. Repairs nearby ships and buildings. Provides additional space to for goods to ship and unload. A pier. Oof. Okay. That's not bad, is it? That's not. It looks alright. Lost a decent chunk of stuff, though. Right, let's have a look. So far... My journey is not very good. The mysterious artifacts. The discovery of several strange artifacts aboard the spooks the crew. Tied to the rigging, bunks, boards, and even atop the captain's desk. A warning. A threat. 
And who put them there? Since the nearby island is uninhabited, it only sense it is only sensible it is sensible only to think that the perpetrator must be aboard. The crew must know, or I've seen something last night. Wow, really? This bag of gold is 4%? Sure, I'll give it a go. A destructive episode. No one has seen it. In no one has information. Or perhaps they withhold it. Consensus to tends towards the latter. Someone wants this expedition to fail. And these effigies are a threat. Paranoia festers. And at the next port, a large part of the crew opts to quit. We're at half morale. Keep going. We can get there, you just gotta believe. Right, we can't actually, I don't believe, get this and put it there, can we? No. So we can't do that. Uh, set the amount of cargo transferred, drop them. Mm. I'm wondering whether a pier would work. Public mooring, pretty cool idea. So we'll send it round the back. We'll get some bricks and some girders and we'll transfer them over. Um, in the meantime, we need to get another little ship. Or in fact, we can just get the same ship, right? Because it's my own ship. Uh, is this Hops Q Q? Hops Q Q. Hops and Peppers. There we go. The wild pigeon is now, because it's got two particular slots, um, it's going to pick up also red peppers. As many as it can carry and then drop them off. Done. That was a nice savage of uh, stuff there. How many? New orders, it's got a bit of, it's got a bit of stuff there, which is nice. Right. So while we're waiting for glass to work, um, I mean, we could build it again, a second version. So we just build it faster. Um, might be worth doing. We haven't got the, the things for it, but we do need to upgrade some people. Oof, we'll do this block next. There we go. We'll start on this block. Okay. I've got to remember one thing. that This beer festival is starting to give me a bit of false information um, in terms of this so just be careful right is everyone okay this got all, all the information all the the goods every it needs day is Christmas. I believe that's going up every day is not Christmas <laughs> it's not it's not Christmas every day um, oh we got a quest from some I farmers I I I shouldn't ask. We've all we've ever wished for find the stray dog okay Let's see. I think this. Oh wow! Anyone up for a game of Gwent? No. All right then. How do I get out of here? Okay. We're looking for a stray dog. There's a dog there. I don't think that's a stray though. Let's have a look. Oh, cats and stuff. Hmm. I think the dog will be a nice big dog. That's a normal sized one. So let's find out. Whoa, hello there, Grandpa. You haven't seen a dog, have you? Stray dog. Don't think you can run in this. I think you can run, actually. Holy crap! You can actually run. Oh, they're having a celebration. I should be looking for a dog. Well, I want to see what the celebration's about. Oh, this is the festival. Of course. Way. Way. Yes, I'm part of the festival. What's the baby look like? Oh my god. The baby's gone. Woman! Baby's gone. This is the beer festival. I haven't seen much beer though. I should be looking for this stray dog apparently, but. This is amazing. Oh look, horses to keep the peace. Hello officer. Whoa! What's this guy doing? What's that guy doing? Get out of the way. Get out of the way, woman. This guy's amazing. 
Oh, there's the beer kegs. Right. Let the celebrations begin indeed. So, Stray Dog. Uh, we can find that super easy. With a bit of my eyesight. That's a, that's a, not a dog. There's some stray dogs. A pack of wild dogs. I wish I'd a goose for your kindness. Right, so, the wild hedgehog. I'm ready. To escort. I mean, my frigate is okay. I mean, I don't know how good it is. Hopefully we don't go up there, I suppose. Come on with me then. Let's go. You can rely on us. Wow, we're shooting already? We have the devil to pay. We've got another expedition. If we get closer, we might do more damage. That was a bit early, wasn't it? Let's go a bit faster. I think we can still shoot while we're moving, so... What, where'd those ships go? Oh shit, they turned. Count yourself lucky you're not one of my regulars. What? Oh, did I run out of time? I was I was messing about in the beer festival. <laughs> Alright, okay. Well, let's head back. Keep head back to port. Confident. We've got ourselves another expedition to do. The expedition of too good to be true. Oof. 